height. So till now we have seen that in the if statement we are using one condition that is a simple program but then in most of the cases you might have to combine multiple conditions together in order to achieve something like this. So if condition 1 and condition 2 and condition 3 which means we are combining three conditions together and if all of them are true then we want to do something in this block otherwise we want to do something in this block. So, how do you combine multiple conditions? It is, used, it is by using logical operators. So, what are the logical operators that we have? So, we have logical operators like this. A and B, C or D, not E. So, and, or and not are the three logical operators that are available in Python. It is available in all the programming languages. Even if you are aware of C, Java, C++, these logical operators are available there also. So, what is the meaning of and? So when I when I write a and b, the output will be true when both a and b are true. Otherwise, in all the remaining cases, it will be false. Now, what is c or d? The output of the c or d will be true when at least one of c or d is true. Otherwise, it will be false. And not e is nothing but complementing. So if the value of e is true not e will be false. If the value of e is false, not e will be true. Okay. Now let's try to take small simple examples in the terminal and see how, how these uh, analytical operators work. Let us say a equal to 10 and b equal to 20. Something like this. Okay. Now if you want to check if a equal to 10 and b equal to 20, then you are going to get true. So one thing you have to observe clearly is, I am using two equal symbols here, which means we are comparing. So don't, many in many cases, many people, they, they generally use one equal to, but one equal to is assignment and two equal to are comparison. So this will be true if A equal to 10. Okay. So you have to use double equal to. Now A is equal to 10 is true and B equal to 20 is true. Now, if I apply and, then it is, the output is going to be true. You can see that output is true. Got it? And now let us say a is greater than 10 and b equal to 20. Now, a is not greater than 10, which means the, the truth value of a is greater than 10 is false. So, false and true. It has to be false. We can see that. All right. Now let us say instead of and we have or a is greater than ten or b equal to twenty. So in this case we have a false value here and a true value here. So false or true is going to be true. We got true. Similarly, let's talk about uh, not. So let's write not a is greater than 10. So a is greater than 10 is false to which you are applying not. So output will be true. Got it? So anyway, this is we, if, when we are writing big programs, we will be revisiting these logical operators, comparison, and, and the Boolean values later. Okay. So we, we will revisit them. Okay. Thank you. Hi. So in the website BuzzFeed, there is a interesting article called Love Calculator where they are taking two names and then they are trying to find out how, how much match they have, how, how good they are uh, together by using true love sentences. Okay. I'll explain you what it is. So you have to write true like this, love like this, and then inside the two names, let us say this is this is a girl's name and this is a boy's name of a boyfriend. And now in the two names, we are going to find out how many times he has occurred. Let us say it has occurred two times. And then how many times R has occurred. Let us say it has occurred two times. And then how many times U has occurred. It has occurred once. Okay. Here. And how many times he has occurred? It has occurred once. So where is he in these names here? Has occurred. Okay. 
calculation. So here it is one. So now you add all of that, it is six. And similarly, in the loud, you are going to count how many times L has occurred, O has occurred, B has occurred, E has occurred in both the names. So if you observe it, L has occurred once here. Okay. And O has occurred uh, once here. So like this, you can write them and then add all the times loud, loud variable, I mean loud letters have occurred and two letters have occurred and you are going to find out some percentage like this. Okay, and based on this percentage, we can say whether the score is excellent, good or average. Right. So let us see how to write a program for that. So in this program, we are going to use two functions on strings. One function is count and other function is lower. So the problem is whenever they have given you a name, there can be capital letters and lowercase letters. And whenever you are trying to find out if T is there, R is there, U is there, E is there, then you are going to compare it uh, as small letters. Now, it will be difficult for you if there are capital letters and small letters. For that, we are going to convert everything to lowercase by using the function lower. For example, if I write RBR in capital letters, and if I say lower, then you can see that RBR will be converted into small RBR, right? Now let us say, how, I want to find out how many times R has occurred. Remove the cursor. I want to see how many times R has occurred. In RBR, I can use the function count on the strings. So we, for the strings, these functions are already defined. You don't have to define them. So you can see that the number of times RBR has occurred is 2. Now, for example, if I use the same RBR and if I use small r, you can see that it will give you zero, which means even though r is present there, it is giving you zero because r is present in capital letters and I am asking it in small letters, right? So for that reason, we will convert RBR into lower case you can directly use RBR dot lower option and now if I try to find out what is present in lower name you can see that it is present what is present is show what is present in lower. It is RBI, right? Lower RBI. Now, if I want to find out how many times R has occurred in lower name, I can directly use count. And I can say R. So R has occurred two times. Got it? So now let us see the program, how to write the program in order to find the log calculator. Let's write the log calculator program. So first, we are reading both the names. So first name is name 1 and second name is name 2. And then we are going to combine both the names into one string. The reason is because why we are converting both the strings in both the names into one string is ultimately we want to find out the total number of occurrences. We don't want to, uh, we don't need that how many times it has occurred in one name, how many times it has occurred in other name. So we are combining everything into one string so that it will be easy for us to find the count. So I have concatenated both name one and name two into the combined string. Now I want to convert the combined string into a lower case. Combined string I want to convert into lower case dot lower. Yeah, now we have got the both the names, both of them are in lower cases. Now I want to find out how many times T has occurred, U has occurred like that. T R U E L O V. So Now I'm trying to count how many times T has occurred. 
and I am saving it in an integer t because the output of this count will be an integer so I am saving it into t similarly now I will do the same for tr in the So all these are integers, P, R, U, V, all these are integers. Similarly, you can write uh, for love also. You can copy paste and then you can write love. How many times L has occurred? How many times O has occurred? How many times do we have a pair and how many times he has a pair? Okay. And now I'm trying to count, count find out that string, I mean that number, which is sum of T R U X. You have seen in the example, right? I have to add T plus R plus U plus E. How many times they have occurred? And I'm going to get a number. So that number is going to be the tens place. And similarly for law also I can do the same. I can add or add the number and that is going to be the units place. Now we have to combine both the numbers and get a double digit number. Maybe this one might be a single digit number and single digit number. Or even if it is not a single digit number also, you have to combine them into two digits. So if I add directly like this, two plus now, it is not going to work. It is going to add both the digits, in, both the digits into a new number, but I want two to be in the tens place and the L to now to be in the uh, units place. For that, I am converting it into string. I am converting the integers into string. And I am going to just print the log score. So let us give an example and run it. So let us say one name is Raju, R A J U, and one name is Rani, R A N I. And now let us see how much score they got. They got a score of thirty, right? So we will continue the program. So now here loud score is a string. So we will convert the string into an integer so that we can do comparison and we can print all the cases whether it is excellent or, or not excellent or all that okay excellent annotation whatever names you want to give if it is above 90 it is excellent 60 to 90 is good and below 60 is average something like that So if the love score is greater than 90, I'm printing you, your score is excellent. Well, if, if it is between 60 and 90. And love score is less than or equal to 90. Then we are printing. Your score is good. Then in the else part, we are printing, which means if it is less than 60, we are printing. Your score is average. Okay. Thank you.